Hello everyone. In this quick video, we're going to talk about the expiry date of your MS Teams meeting recordings. So when you create MS Teams based meeting recording, obviously it actually expires after a certain time. Now that default time is basically assigned by your um, administrators in Teams admin. But the good news is, even if there is a default expiry date, you can basically extend the expiry of your Teams meeting recordings. So, you know, you probably want to keep those recordings for a longer term or for any project related reviews or everything else. Um, you can actually extend the date itself without even going to the admin. So let's have a look at the admin part first and then we will talk about how you can actually extend the expiry date yourself. So let's open the Teams admin center first. So within the Teams Admin Center, which is admin.teams.microsoft.com, if you go to Meetings, and under Meetings, there is a Meetings Policy. Under Meetings Policy, I'll click on the Global Default Policy. Under that policy, if I scroll further down, there is actually a default expiry date, which is assigned by your Teams admins. So currently, the default expiry date is 60 days. So this is actually in days. So which means if you create a team recording now, the recording's ex default expiry date will be after 60 days. So after 60 days, the meeting recording will disappear from your recording sections. Now, let's go back to your recordings. So for example, if you create you know, any meeting recordings, they actually get saved within your OneDrive. So that's your OneDrive for business and under my files, and under recordings, these are your uh, kind of one-on-one -on -one recordings that you have recorded. But if you have any channel-based recordings, those channel-based recordings are basically saved under the SharePoint side of that particular channel. So you can actually browse to those um, recordings by going to the documents, which is basically a SharePoint site for your um, private channel. And under documents, you can click on recordings and these are the recordings which you have created you know, uh, within your uh, channel. Now, in order to extend the default expiry date, so all you need to do is just select the recording and click on the little information icon. Once you click on that information icon, on your right hand side, there is actually a expiry date. So this is the date where you know, this meeting recording is going to expire. But if you want to keep it for longer, you can basically extend these days for you know, another 7 days, 30 days or 60 days or you can actually select a date for yourself if you want to provide a custom date for yourself. Or there is also an option to say remove expiration. So basically what you're saying is you know, your AUX policy might override the selection and you may need to change the retention level if one is applied. So, you know, depending on the retention policies and all those labels, so, you know, they might affect this. But you can always select a custom date and have it, you know, um, this recording to you, available to you for uh, a longer period. So, this is basically how you do it for channels. And same for your, um, you know, private meetings as well, which are saved in your OneDrive for Business. You can simply click on that um, meeting recording, click on the information icon and um, on your you know, right side pane, um, it should basically display the expiry date as well. So there you go. So you can basically extend the date and select a custom date if you want to do that. So this is how you basically extend the expiry date of your uh, Teams meeting recordings. Thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, please leave it in the comment section and have a nice day.